Hi everyone, I'm Joanna Penn from thecreativepen.com and today I'm here with author and artist Wynne Charles. Welcome Wynne. Thank you and thank you for letting my story finally come into you finally come into the UK. Oh no, well we have an audience all over the world, you and I. But let's start off people probably wondering why your voice sounds a bit funny. So why don't you tell us a bit about your story and what? what's going on there? Why my voice sounds a bit funny, I like that, Joanna. <laughs> well, I was born in 87, 1987, with cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. Now, what surprises people is cerebral palsy is not heretic. It's a birth injury mm -hmm. that's caused at birth through a traumatic injury in the womb, usually lack of oxygen once the child comes out of the womb. So that's how I got my cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm speaking funny is because I have a slight speech impediment. So that over the years has worked itself out. And so that's why I have a slight speech impediment, which you can hear today. Yeah, but it hasn't stopped you, has it? Uh, you've done a lot of things. Tell us a bit more about your story and your life. I, okay, where do I start? <laughs> okay, oh, I wrote, I win as a legacy after losing my mom a few years back. And it's really proven to inspire people because I did it in such a way that it's not necessarily dealing with heavy subjects, but it is. I did, I win for myself as a form of therapy and getting my thoughts down on paper. Well, it turns out I win has now turned into this little small monster that I can't control. <laughs> um, and here I am doing an interview in the UK. And here I am reaching broader audience, broader audiences through my book. And people have said to me, you inspire me to live my life to the fullest and you've also left me in tears so that being said I should hand people a box of Kleenex when they read I win. <laughs> it is it's a great book and you know we should say that I win is your biography I suppose but it's also a yeah. um I found it quite inspiring as well and about your mum and she basically said to you that you can do anything, you know, she was a very yeah. inspiring yeah. woman and I love your uh, your snowboarding story that, you know, you don't just sit at home, you get out there and do oh, stuff. No, and um, no, and I try to get out there and do stuff and the best medicine for medicine in a sense for cerebral palsy mm. is movement mm. because we have a tendency to get stiff in places that we shouldn't get stiff the best medicine is for for us is to get moving and that is for people in wheelchairs too and all those conditions, the best medicine is movement. I think uh, probably for everybody, even able-bodied people. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's the obesity <laughs> epidemic. You see, we all have to get moving. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, tell us, um, how did you actually write the book? Because you also have some problems um, actually writing, don't you? Okay. Okay, now we're getting to the heart of 
this matter. When I let's start back at the beginning. I took a leadership workshop in the U.S. and through that leadership workshop, it's a leadership workshop, not how to deal with your disability. Mm -hmm. It's a leadership workshop on how to be a better person and how to get help when you need it. Mm -hmm. As you know, indie authors need help. <laughs> so, um, but that's not the point. The So what they had all the 11 participants do is write their dreams on a big sheet of paper, big butcher paper. And they had them presented at a formal meeting with the participants' friends and family. I don't know, there was 11 people at my meeting. And one of the my dreams was to write a book on my life. I got the most strangest looks from people in this meeting. People thought I had lost my mind. <laughs> losing my mom and people thought this child needs to go to the inside asylum if she's planning to write a book if she's planning to write a book and so I hired a ghost writing team what happened was the ghost writing team landed up leaving me in the middle of writing a nine chapter manuscript and then they only left me with three chapters. So I was screwed. I thought Oh joy, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Three chapters done, and do I let the dang thing collect dust, or do I just figure out another way? So, I, what I landed up doing is turning to a little friend on the iPhone called Siri. And that's how I finished writing I win. So you basically used Siri as a speech to text tool to create the first draft and then you got a professional editor. Yes and then I hired a professional editor and I put it in Microsoft Word. I sat with it for many many months and then she added things in that I left out like words that because my brain speaks, my brain thinks faster than I can type. Yeah, and I like I like it because when you read it, you get a sense of your voice and you know and your sense of humor because you've got you've got a good sense of humor and a lot of good stories. But also there is a professional editing layer over it, so that's really good. So then you um, you self published and you on the Kindle and print. I did my research and found my love, my dear, create space. <laughs> And as you know, as you talk about all the time, Joanna, create space, especially since slice fled. <laughs> and it's absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. So now your book's out there, and um, what are you doing for marketing your book? Oh, I am everywhere, Joanna. I am on Facebook. I am on Goodread, although I don't use Goodread that much. I am on Pinterest. I am on Smashwords now. I am on Twitter. I have two, three Twitter accounts. 
and I'm guilty of that. And I am on every, I'm on YouTube, and I am just marketing the heck out of this book. And for me, it was a little bit different because I founded my self-taught digital art company in 2007 mm -hmm. and created a Facebook page. So I already had those fans on my Facebook page. And so I just used them to help me leverage my book. And I would recommend that you use your friends and family as a marketing tool because your friends and family are going to be the nicest critics in the world of your book because because it's your friends and family and not even your friends, more your family because they love you and because they just want to see the best for you. I um, I want you to talk a bit about your YouTube show because a lot of people are worried about their face and their voice and what they look like and you're just, you're doing it regardless. So tell I, us about your YouTube show. I, I try, I try to do it weekly and I also try to answer the common misconceptions about cerebral palsy too. Mm -hmm. So I and I also try to bring in the independent self published author aspect too, mm -hmm. which is phenomenal because a lot of people with disabilities aren't independent self published authors. Mm -hmm. So I just try to connect with my fans and be there for my fans if they need any help and it's been great. I mean, I... And I think it's great and, you know, it's... I think bringing your personality and your life onto video is very special and it really shows, you know, a, a side of you. I think it's brilliant. So well done. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're the one that got me to do it. <laughs> Well, I just, you know, I thought, and and I'll link to the 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 video of you on the on the funny chair, the walk the walking machine, you know, that that was amazing. I, it's just it's so different to many people's lives. It's very different to my life, and I I appreciate you sharing. That was a ball I was sitting on. That wasn't even a chair. <laughs> that, that was a physio ball I was sitting on. It was fantastic, but um. What would you say to people who either are disabled or have family members or disabled who, you know, what can you say to them to inspire them? I would say, well, one, never give up and write, write your thoughts in a journal and write what you're feeling if you're feeling angry that day or write and if it's good enough, self-publish it. I know a lot of people with cerebral palsy and a lot of people with disabilities would call me nuts because I'm an independent self-published junkie. I would uh, I would think that it would inspire other people. Basically my two um, two models are don't give up and get your story out there and if you want to give up, reach out to support groups. I mean, there's amazing support groups mm. now via the internet that mm. you use too. No, that's fantastic. So what's next for you, Wynne? What are you writing next? Oh, I'm, I'm writing a novel. <laughs> a novel. Fantastic. I, depending on how lazy I get, it's either going to be a 10 chapter novel mm -hmm. or 13 chapter novel. And so, depending on how lazy I get. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> That's fantastic. So you're busy. And so where can people find you and your book or online? They can find me through Facebook. They can also friend me through Facebook. And my fan page is Facebook slash author WC. Or they can find me through my website. That is author Win Charles W I N C H A R L E S for those who can't understand my speech in pen right? dot com. Hey Win, well look, it's been really great to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. And uh, I urge everyone to check out your book, I Win, by uh, Win Charles. I, comma, W-I-N. Brilliant. Thanks, Thank Win. You. Bye.